when it becomes a true nuisance is when it starts to impede on one's uh, daily life, one's uh, uh, peace of mind. And a lot of times that's caused by not taking proper uh, steps to avoid making a nuisance situation. We do get nuisance calls throughout the year, but spring and summer would be the peak. You have a breeding season for most species in Georgia uh, starting in the spring. So the adults are out and about uh, feeding not only themselves, but the young animals too. So there's a lot more sightings. We get a lot of calls and emails on coyote sightings, fox sightings. Uh, and a lot of those are just sightings. We get calls on Canada geese, which are nesting this time of year. Uh, we get calls on deer. Uh, we get calls on snakes, which are coming out of hibernation this time of year. By and large, wildlife become a nuisance, usually as a result of some type of human activity, whether that's leaving pet food outside or garbage unsecured outside. It even can be a result of bird feeders. So a lot of times when there's that unnatural food source, the wildlife species will lose their natural fear of humans. We always recommend that uh, folks do not feed their pets outside and unless if they do feed them outside they take the food up when the pet is finished eating. Also secure any type of garbage or other refuse. Uh, keep your bird feeders clean. Uh, pick up any spilled seed if that's possible. Things like that can go a long way to prevent uh, nuisance situations. We do provide technical guidance on how to reduce nuisance encounters, and that's verbal technical guidance or written technical guidance, or our website is a good valuable resource for that type of information. If it's a situation where the animal needs to be removed, then we have a list of nuisance wildlife control operators. These are private individuals who are licensed by the DNR Wildlife Resources Division to do nuisance wildlife work in Georgia. And we certainly can provide that list to a homeowner or a landowner. And that list is also available on our website. Coyotes were not in this area as recent as 20 years ago, maybe even 15 years ago, but certainly since then they've colonized the, the entire area. They're in every county in Georgia, including the metro Atlanta counties. And there's a lot of misunderstanding regarding coyotes. Uh, we've never had a documented case, a documented incident of a coyote attack on a person. Now we do know that on occasion, coyotes being the opportunistic animals they are, they will take a small pet and actually having a fence in yard is not completely coyote proof either. They can go over fences. By and large, they're, they're using natural native food sources. They eat a lot of uh, rats, mice, chipmunks, squirrels. So actually they do provide a service in helping keeping the rodent population down.